we go ahead and shift over to the U.S. dollar market. That's the dollar sign DXY. And this is getting a lot more interesting. So we are seeing gold turning up nicely. We're seeing rates turning down. And we're seeing the U.S. dollar now finally failing. It rallied all the way up to our key line in the sand at that 78.6 and is now giving us our first bearish candle. We'll have to see where this closes. But right now, this is looking uh, certainly a, a little bit weaker. And as we've drawn in, we are looking for this to now turn down. We do not want to see it move through that 78.6 fib at that 104.54 area. Shift over to the daily chart. So what do we have to see? I'm just going to update this a little bit here on the downside because we are selling off uh, a little further here in the U.S. dollar market. So you can see what we're looking for. I'm just going to draw it in so that way it's clear for you. We have a minor low that's due around 9.6. So far, these minor cycle translations are positive. You can see we used up that whole cycle rally uh, right here, formed our low, moved to new highs. Now we are still forming a higher low into this low, which is due, get my cursor back here, right around the 9.6 time period. So watching for a move down likely into this zone right here, get my cursor, at the 102.60 area. Then to get that bounce, make the lower high, and then that's when, if we see a breakdown versus that low right there, that's when this would get more negative in the U.S. dollar and really set things up positively uh, for the gold and silver market. So that is really what is in play here and, uh, and is really quite interesting. Finally seeing some early signs of a high forming. No, we still have a positive slim ribbon that needs to clearly turn neutral and go negative for there to be anything really negative happening. But right now, some early signs of it and watch for a breakdown in that next minor cycle out here, okay? And we have our low that is due, if we get our cursor back, right around that 10-3 time period. So if we see that breakdown, that would set the U.S. dollar into a much more negative mode, and that would also likely imply that the Euro USD is turning up sharply to the upside. Let's go ahead.